Okay, let's talk a little about how to use our digital overlays. Uh, these template overlays can be used in green screen wizard software, Adobe Photoshop, Paint Shop Pro, Corel Photo Paint, uh, Adobe Photoshop Elements, any program that uses layers you can use these uh, images in. Let's go ahead and start by assuming that you ordered a single overlay online. You should receive an email from us that looks something like this. It'll have a link right here that you can click. If you click on that, it'll open a page that has the full-size image on it. Go ahead and uh, select Save Image As. I've already made a folder titled uh, Senior Overlays. We'll go ahead and select that and replace it with this image. And that's all there is to saving it to your desktop. Then we're ready to go ahead and open Green Screen Wizard. Get that centered up here. Uh, first we'll load the foreground. That would be our green screen shot. Just select this one, click Rotate Clockwise, and Open. And there's the image dropped against the background. Let's go ahead and put in a different background. On my desktop, I have saved all the digital backdrops in one folder. Uh, let's go ahead and select this one, drop it in there. There's the background behind the subject. Now to use the overlay, let's go to Adjust Image. Right up here is Overlays. Click on Load. Uh, remember we've got a folder saved on the desktop that says Senior Overlays. We've only got one image in there right now. Let's go ahead and open that one. There it is automatically. Uh, she looks a little large on here. Let's go ahead and make her a little smaller by clicking the scale button. Okay, there is the image with the overlay on it. Now we're ready to either save or print. And that's about all there is to it in Green Screen Wizard. Now let's go ahead and open Corel Photo Paint. I happen to have that on this desktop. We'll go to open. And then let's find an image. This one will be fine. Let's go ahead and open it. It's pretty large. Let's make it fit. We'll just select the fit. And then let's go ahead and find our overlay. So we'll go to open again. Go back to the desktop. Find the overlay open it and there it is now we'll select the uh, object pick tool we're going to just dra drag this layer over the top of the original image and drop it there it is now we can close this image be sure not to save as it will save it in that state Okay, we can print it just like that if we like it. We can also adjust it, move it around. It's just a layer on top of a layer. Uh, we can make it smaller, shorter, wider, whatever. Once you've got it to the, uh, the way that you like the looks of it, then you'll want to go ahead and let's go ahead and view that full size. If uh, we were going to save it there, then we'd just go ahead and, and save it and combine our layers. And uh, then we could go ahead and print out of it. Okay, thank you.